But right now, it's live to question time. Time in Parliament Prime Minister, over half of our population, including one in three Labor voters, is telling you that they don't want the voice in the Constitution. It is risky, it's permanent and it's divisive. How can the Prime Minister, in good Order. conscience, go into the referendum question being put to the Australian public on October 14, knowing that he's going to divide our country clean down the middle? Order. The, att the Attorney-General and Ministers will cease interjecting. And so will the member for Barker. Give the call to the Prime Minister. I thank the Leader of the Opposition for his question. And he's aware that for many years, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have advocated for constitutional recognition. Yeah. And for many years, they came together as a result of a system established under the coalition government, came together Uluru to determine that they wanted that recognition through a voice. Commonwealth, state and territory governments have all committed to it. Business leaders are supporting it. Legal experts have endorsed it, including we don't hear about the Solicitor General's advice anymore. Remember that. Faith groups, sporting codes are all supporting it, and there's an army of volunteers campaigning for it. On October the 14th, the Australian people can vote for it. They can vote yes for recognition, yes to listening, and yes in order to get better results. That is the position that we have put forward after consultation and after the gracious request from First Nations people. They're not voting for a party or a person. They're voting for an idea, an idea to promote reconciliation, an idea to bring this country together, an idea in recognition that what we've done with the best of intentions over 122 years is not working and that if you do the same thing in the same way, you should expect the same outcomes. And at the moment, we have an eight-year life expectancy gap. We have gaps when it comes to an Indigenous young male is more likely to go to jail than to go to university. An Indigenous young woman is more likely to die in childbirth than, an indig than a non-Indigenous woman. Uh, we have right throughout uh, the targets, only four of them, on track to being met. The Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice will be a committee of Indigenous Australians chosen by Indigenous Australians giving advice to governments so we can get better results for Indigenous Australians. Now, the Leader of the Opposition wants to Order. defeat this referendum for political reasons and then, and then he says Order. And then he says he'll have another referendum. On my left. He wants two referendums. He Order. wants to talk about this for year after year after year after year. We want outcomes. Order. The Prime Minister will pause the Leader of the Opposition on a point of order. Well, on uh, relevance, Mr Speaker, the question was why does the Prime Minister refuse to listen to the population of our country? Resume your seat. What? Yeah. The the Prime Minister is being relevant to the question as he as he order. It is not an excuse for the opposition to simply make a statement. It is the Prime Minister is being relevant as his question was about the constitutional change and about what is happening. He is giving context and detail, and I'll make sure he's being relevant. He has the call. I tell you what, no one is asking for a second referendum, which is his position. No one, no one. He, he wants, he wants to see Indigenous people. He just doesn't want them to be heard, Mr. Speaker. Just doesn't want them to be heard. And then he said we can change the question. He voted for the legislation. He sat over here and voted for the legislation. That is the wording of this referendum, which will go to the Australian people. 